We are talking Boots on the Ground. This one is directed and written by Lewis Melville. And this is a found footage kind of military horror film. It's actually released initially in 2017, although it's getting, I think, a re-release now in 2019. And um, it focuses on five British soldiers as they are in Afghanistan um, doing some type of kind of mission. And uh, they stumble across this kind of like this bunker complex and whilst they're in there they discovered a, a cache of cash there's like a hundred million dollars in US uh, currency in this kind of like this box um, that they discover along with a kind of a bunch of ammo and kind of guns and bits and pieces but it's, it's kind of in this kind of like labyrinth of underground bunkers and it's getting dark uh, the Taliban is somewhere around and there seems to be some type of supernatural presence within this kind of bunker as well. Now to add kind of more kind of pressure to the, to the, uh, to the story, obviously this kind of money is kind of making cracks appear in this kind of small group of, uh, of soldiers uh, as kind of jealousy and ambition kind of take over and threaten to divide the group. So let's talk about what works first of all with boots on the ground. This is a great concept. I think the idea here is actually a pretty good one. And um, I quite like the idea of a kind of a military uh, style horror movie. And the, the, the film does have a good attempt at trying to do something somewhat original in, its, in, in, the, in the form of its narrative. So what it does, if you've ever seen kind of like pop fiction, which I'm sure most people have, the way that story kind of plays out is it's non-linear. It'll kind of flip between uh, different kind of times and different kind of people's perspectives. And this movie does something similar as well. So you will see a scene uh, with two people talking from their perspective and then kind of a little bit later, um, you'll see it maybe from someone else's perspective. And it actually goes one step beyond that uh, and kind of like even kind of having a little bit of maybe time manipulation kind of thing. I won't say too much because it's a little bit too much of a spoiler. Suffice to say that, you know, things are not necessarily what they seem uh, and the kind of the narrative, you need to kind of like pay attention to it. But we are going to come back to that in just a minute. Um, the visual effects are used sparingly um, and they, they do look a little bit CGI, but I actually kind of like them. I have to say, I still think for a low budget movie, I thought they did a good enough job here of, of kind of making some kind of quite um, jumpy moments. And when we're in the kind of the tunnel complex, I've got to say it does look very kind of creepy, great atmosphere and very kind of menacing. Now on to the negatives. Um, outside of the complex, however, this does not look anything like Afghanistan. It was filmed in the UK and it looks like it was filmed in the UK. Now, thankfully, we're not in the kind of the open too much. It's really just the kind of the beginning and the end. Um, but when we are out, it, yeah, it just doesn't look nothing like um, <laughs> where it's supposed to be set, unfortunately. But like, for the, most of the time we're actually in this bunker, so you can kind of get away with that. Here's where the biggest problem is this movie. This movie's ambition does not mesh with a found footage genre in a number of ways. So this, has a, this tries to have quite a complex narrative narrative structure and the way this kind of movie is set you kind of look you know, you're looking back at scenes from different people's perspective and there's an element of kind of going back in kind of different kind of time periods and things like this however the movie is a found footage film and it has a good conceit because they're all these soldiers are wearing these kind of like uh i'm doing this um uh are wearing these kind of like get a helmet cameras which they kind of do in the military so it's a good conceit to have uh, a found footage that that is solid but the problem is is because this story is somewhat kind of complex it does not mesh well with the found footage style of filming you add to that it's all in the dark and yet all of the characters are wearing exactly the same clothes it is really hard to see what's going on now uh, apparently this the actual found footage um having read a little bit about this the actual scenes that we see were filmed by the actors wearing these kind of head cams. But the problem is, although that is authentic, great, it's authentic, 
but a lot of the time you'll 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 see just the floor as they kind of got their head down and you know they're kind of running on the floor and you'll sit up the, the corner of a window and things like that and then we add these kind of like we have these like you know distortions and stuff that are added later on to kind of give the uh, um give the uh the appearance of kind of something sort of interfering and some type of paranormal activity you add that it's all dark they have this kind of like this they've given us this, this story like a weird like kind of like um like a hue that kind of makes it kind of all the colors seem very washed out everyone looks the same it is really hard to kind of like piece together what is going on not because i don't think the, the narrative structure is um is particularly you know that to me actually that works to a degree but the execution and the visual style does not fit that decision so this would have been much better had it had been filmed in the kind of traditional style camera ways admittedly that would have been a higher budget i would have thought but something had to give here you've kind of got the, a case of um the unstoppable force meets the immovable object these two things just, just, just don't mesh, mesh very well together so we have a good idea of a story executed in a very poor way because they just the idea of what they're trying to say is you just can't make out what's going on. Um, you add to that, you have um, music in found footage films, a, a score, which always undercuts the realism, if you ask me. And then we have some, the acting, I, I'm a little bit kind of torn with the acting, because I didn't, I didn't think the performances were, were too bad uh, at, at, at a lot of times, but sometimes the dialogue is, is pretty bad. And I've got to say, this does not do a, a good uh, any favours for female service people, because the one female character here, when spooky starts to spooky stuff starts to happen, she's literally crying and screaming the whole way through the movie. Um, but the male characters don't do that. Aren't, don't do that. So it, it, it's so bad. It's, it just it comes quite grating. Um, yeah, I get that. But you know, it's a scare. But the one female character literally just loses it completely. Um, and uh, you know, the male characters don't. I mean, you could argue, oh, maybe that was just the case. But you know, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's, it's noticeable. You notice that the one female character is is completely losing her shit far more than anyone else. Um, so, this has a good idea, and uh, uh, but it has poor execution, um, and becomes somewhat unwatchable because of it, unfortunately. Now, I do like a movie that does try to do have to do some have some originality, try to have a good idea, and there is that. But this film becomes a, a chore to sit through, quite frankly. So, I want to give this one a four out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? So leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.